Hey, 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 Aquarius. This is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your daily dose of love tarot. So this is going to be a reading for my Aquarian sun, moon, rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North node. This will not resonate with everybody, but hopefully it will with you. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below there, Aquarius, if you would, before you leave. I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for all of your likes, shares, and subscriptions. If you guys are interested in a personal reading, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs. Info's down in the description box below. Make sure that you're utilizing that link as there are scammers about the community and know that you will always see my face in a reading as well as receive an unlisted link. All right, so Aquarius, what do we got going on? For your overall energy, we have the Five of Wands, we have the Fool card, we have the Seven of Swords, which is your card, and we have the Eight of Cups. So it looks like you're walking away from something and you're taking a leap of faith, okay? I feel like there is a struggle to maintain balance, that's what I'm getting. The Seven of Swords lately for me is you know the six of swords is finding peace right and peace for me is from a balanced place so you have this sword that is not touching anything you see these two swords touching these two swords touch touching and these two okay they seem balanced this okay i feel like there's something missing and that something missing is whatever you're walking walking toward Okay, that's what's missing. That's what's going to help you balance your energy out. And you intuitively know this. Okay, so you could be in, you know, inwardly struggling with this. So you have the Queen of Cups clarifying the Seven of Swords, the Chariots, and the Ace of Cups. So you're going toward love. Okay, this could be toward a water sign, which is interesting because you do have a king of cups here okay so it could be a divine counterpart right um so let's see what the fool is the princess of wands the ace of cups is new love and the the chariot ironically is balance right it's that yin yang energy you've got the yin you've got the yay and the divine energy is connection to the heart and allowing that heart to pull you forward and take you places so you have the six of swords see and this is the fool i just said the fool will lead you to the six of swords and the strength card so it may take strength for you to walk away from something and embrace this something new i feel like this is what you need to find within you this fire okay this feminine fire this feminine excitement and i say feminine because you need that creativity you need that sense of adventure with an edge of creative intuitiveness if that makes sense to you because you're finding your way i feel like whatever you're walking away to right whatever you're walking away from you're walking somewhere but you need to find your way so yep see the what i just said the intuitiveness with the five of wands clarifying this is the high priestess the devil card and the Ten of Wands. So something's been weighing heavy on you. And whatever this is, is causing you a misbalance. It's like a misfire, okay? This could be feeling tied to something, someone with the devil energy. This is Capricorn energy. So it could be a Capricorn, okay? This is you listening to your intuition and finding your way out of this struggle here. Finding your way out of the darkness and overcoming a fear of moving away from that and moving forward from it, okay? So let's get a moon card. I get the Moonology deck, uh, Aquarius. I almost called you Cancer. You could be dealing with a Cancer. Okay, so, all right, I'm going to take two because two came out. This is your advice for this section for your overall energy. We have the end of a type, tough cycle approaches, full moon in Capricorn. And that's funny because you have the devil card here. And we also have look at the bigger picture, full moon in Sagittarius. So 
See, this is that energy, this Princess of Wands energy. This is looking at the full picture so that you can feel your way intuitively, but also be excited about where you're going. It's that fire within, that taking action, that overcoming fear, that finding strength within you, right? So let's get, and you have strength here, right? <clears throat> okay, so your challenge is the eight of wands you have the moon card the two of cups and the princess of pentacles right okay so i feel like your challenge is seeing a love situation i feel like this may be what you're going towards right something that's hidden it's almost like i feel like there's an opportunity in love right so you have the moon card, which is intuition. Yes, this is you using your intuition and moving toward love. So this is going to be challenging because I feel like there's a fear associated with this. But what you don't realize is that there is an opportunity that is sort of between the moon and the two of cups, an opportunity that you will find once you embrace this love. Once you embrace, it could be a soulmate, right? Because there's a lot of passion here. But you have to go with the flow, so to speak. And that's what you got to do, Aquarius. So tell me about this opportunity, this Princess of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles. The Justice card. And the Tower. Oh my God. Like, I feel like this opportunity is going to shock the shit out of you. That's what I'm getting shock the shit out of you now this could be a recognition of a twin flame because you have the justice card and you have the high priestess here my two cards for twin flame as well as combining the two of um cups and the like i said with the chariot this is like yin yang okay that can sometimes be considered a twin flame card doesn't mean it's for everybody okay but I feel like there's also an opportunity in business here. That's what I'm getting from the King of Pentacles. You could be dealing with the Taurus, but Five of Swords, the Judgment card. This is a reunion. This is a recognition of a calling. But I feel like, okay, there's jealousy over here. There's, it could be ego. I feel like maybe people are jealous around you because you have a lot of options. You could have a lot of options in love. And this may be the decision that you're making, right? Nine of Pentacles. They're jealous. I feel like they're envious of the independence in you, Aquarius. They're envious of the abundance, the uh, what you, you're giving off an air of knowing, right? Of knowing where you're going, even though you have this fear. Right? So this is what you're projecting and they're feeling that and they're feeling like you have a lot of options. Okay. So what is the eight of the eight of wands is the queen of pentacles, the emperor and the seven of pentacles. Wow. Who's the emperor? The six of wands. See, you're getting a lot of attention. You're the emperor here. I just said you're getting a lot of attention. That six of wands is a lot of attention in love. It could even be in business because you have a Capricorn energy here. But the king and queen, okay, this person is very balanced. The prince of swords. You need to listen to your intuition here. I feel like the empress. So there's a divine counterpart. You got emperor and empress here. But you need to listen to your intuition. Now, what I've also seen in this card, you notice that this man is, you know, looking sideways from the chariots, right? Looking sideways from the chariot. And what was I talking about before? Allowing that heart to guide you forward, allowing that intuition to guide you forward. He's not paying attention to the twins here. And the twins, okay, are guiding you forward. All right, so you're trusting in your divine heart. You're trusting in it. And if you look at the chariot, the chariot's looking more, he's looking more forward, okay? Like, okay, I know where I'm going. He's got a determination. 
he sees. So I feel like you're going from trusting, okay, to, okay, let's go faster because this is the fastest card in the deck, the chariot. So he's in his own chariot here, right? But going slower. So it's like you elevate from that to this, from trusting to knowing, okay? So you speed up the pace. But people recognize this and are envious. That's what I have to say about what I'm feeling here. Let's get a Moonology card, Aquarius, right? See what the moon has to say. Your commitment is being tested first quarter moon. And that's what I mean about what I just talked about. It's like, okay, can you trust, first of all, can you trust your intuition? Yes, okay, I'll allow my, I'll, I'll allow my divinity within me to guide me forward. And then do I have this knowing and determination to really forge ahead and move toward what I know to be true? That's your uh, universal test here, Aquarius. All right. So your outcome is the hanged man, the king of cups, the ace of swords, and the eight of swords. Okay, I feel like you may, you're going forward, you may take a step back, there may be a pause, okay, before you reach your destination, okay, it's like you're, you're headed toward your destination, there's a pause, because that, there's a doubt, there's a doubt that will arise, but not for long, because you do gain clarity and truth, and you end up with this King of Cups. This is your heart. This is, it, like I said, I kept saying Cancer. It could be a Cancer. But this person is an Empress or an Emperor. Okay? Masculine energy over here with the King of Cups. Ace of Pentacles. What did I say about the opportunity? There's a huge opportunity here. Prince of Cups. Very romantic relationship. Queen of Cups. Uh, sorry, Princess of Cups. This is what I'm saying. This person is very balanced. This person knows how to have fun. The Prince of Wands. So this person has all different aspects to them. And it's interesting because I wanted you to utilize the Princess of Wands to get excited about where you're going. This person is holding the masculine energy. And it doesn't matter whether you're masculine and feminine. They're also holding feminine energy with the Prince and Princess of Cups here. So what's the hanged man, the lovers, the nine of swords, and the universe? So you do have a choice, whether it's between two people or just moving forward. This is your choice, but you will choose a new beginning, all right? This may require moving, like I said. Wow, ace of wands and temperance. You're going to find that balance. You're going to create from this, from this balance nine of wands and overcome okay overcome the hurt that you've had from the past and move forward that's what i'm getting getting out of feelings of lack although i don't feel that strongly here i don't feel you necessarily feel a lot of lack but i do feel whatever lack you may be uh feeling you'll be aware of and that leaves quickly i don't feel that energy strongly because i feel like temperance is overtaking that is overwhelming that that energy with temperance so the moon card here emotions are running high super moon so it is very important it's going to be very important for you to remain balanced and to take advantage of the uh angels okay that are around you with temperance because you'll be creating from that balance with this person there's a huge opportunity here aquarius okay so use it that's what I have for you. I hope that resonated. Please drop a like below, share and subscribe if you already haven't, if you're interested in a personal reading. That way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs. Information can be found in the description box below. Make sure that you're utilizing the link in the box if you are interested as there are scammers about the community and know that you will always see my face in a reading if you order one from me as well as receive an unlisted link. Make sure you utilize that link as Etsy is the only place that you can order a reading. 
you will always get a message from me through the Etsy store and you will also get um, an email once your email is uh, once your email once your reading is complete Aquarius with a link that will bring you back here to this YouTube channel to watch your video for as many times as you wish for as long as you wish so it's if it's not on this channel then it's not from me I do not do phone readings as well so you have a wonderful day and I will catch you on the flip side of your daily dose of tarot namaste